Hey guys, welcome to another um, SaaS landing page teardown. Basically, in this one, we'll be talking about Hotjar, which is a, a tool that um, is uh, that uh, has a ton of uh, tiny analytics tools uh, built inside. Uh, it's a great value, and it actually provides really good insights. It's way better than Google Analytics in in some in some scenarios. And uh, today, I'll just be breaking it down and see how we can how it could be improved and so on. So um, basically, the hind headline at the top says the fast and visual way to understand your users. Uh, that's actually pretty good. That's not the uh, the the page itself. It's not bad in terms of how it shows uh, some of the use cases and stuff like that. The only thing that I don't really like is that um, it doesn't answer two really big things. So one, it shows me, yeah, it shows me the features, and this, these are features that I can get in all of the other tools because once Achar became successful, um, you know, a ton of clones uh, rushed in. So there are a ton of clones out there, and they also have these features, so it's kind of useless for me to know this. Um, what I, I'm really concerned about is, is this section right here. So basically, it says it, it was built for marketers, product manager, and UX designers, which right away sounds like it was built, uh, it, like it says it's built for everyone, and it, what's built for everyone, it kind of sounds like it's built for no one, right? So it, the, instead, they could say it's built for, uh, you know, um, product teams, and that includes marketers, product managers, and UX designers. That could be one one scenario, right? And they're not showing me how I can use your product to get a massive results. So if if uh, three three different teams inside my company could use my uh, this product, then it it seems like it's going to provide a massive uh, amount of value. So they need to elaborate a little bit more on how UX designers could uh, decrease churn or improve the onboarding uh, sequence uh, because they see the problems during the onboarding or how product managers could see how people watch your product so they can, uh, you know, make different, make changes in the product roadmap or something like that. And how marketers can use insights in the funnels, insights in the heat maps, uh, heat set, uh, insights from all of the other stuff all around landing pages and surveys and stuff like that to increase conversion rates, right? So you can see the amount of uh, results that you can get, but the only, the way they're explaining me this is just with one tiny sentence. Instead of showing how your company, they, essentially they could help, uh, you know, companies increase their revenue massively with all of these insights, but they they don't show me how, and they definitely don't show, uh, you know, you know which features to use, uh, uh, you know, what's the process to get there, and so on, and and then I'll I'll leave the page without understanding how people can, um, how my entire team can use it. Uh, nor do I understand why is this better than anything else on the market since there are so many clones. Uh, and that's the, the, the big thing. Otherwise, this is a mini, amazing product and it's uh, somewhat of a good page. So uh, I guess that's about it for the, the SaaS landing page teardown. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments. Uh, what I usually recommend is just for people to use uh, this formula. This is what I use with all my clients. And uh, if, you, if you want this formula for free, just drop it down in the comments and I'll send that to you or just DM me on LinkedIn or something and, I, and I'll send that to you. It's just a formula that I use with all my clients and it works amazingly well uh, because it's fairly predictable and is based on uh, old age copywriting formula that I applied to SaaS basically. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in getting some help uh, in terms of explaining your product better, improving your conversion rates on your SaaS landing page and stuff like that, uh, you can go to kursdes.design slash apply and apply for a free call where, where uh, after you answer a couple of qualified questions, where we, I'll basically ask you a few questions about your business, about your goals, about your problems and so on, and see if you might be a good fit. Uh, and if I can help you explain your product better so you get better conversions. Um, if we are a good fit, I'll go ahead and explain how I can help. And if you're not a good fit, that's basically, basically not a problem. Because one, you didn't lose anything in chatting. And two, uh, that's that's just part of the process. Not everyone is a good fit. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll encourage you to just DM me on LinkedIn or email me because I'll happily answer I'll answer any questions because it also gives me ideas for content. So it's kind of a win-win. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. If you're interested in that, go ahead and go to cortez.design slash apply. And uh, I'll be dropping more SaaS landing page teardowns soon. Cheers.